A picture depicting a 17-year-old girl performing oral sex on a young man at an Eminem concert in Ireland went viral on the internet, prompting outrage. Some say it was the wrong kind of outrage. The picture, which is cut off here, but clearly depicts the young man raising his hands in jubilation as his cohorts look on in glee, elicited a huge reaction on the internet after going viral. The outrage was not directed at the boy or his surrounding cohorts, however, but rather at the girl. The post took on the name Slain Girl, referring to the shame that the girl in the picture would have to face because of her actions. A Slain Girl Facebook page received 8,000 likes before being removed on Monday. The girl was hospitalized and so distraught she had to be sedated. Meanwhile, Irish police are investigating the bullying and those who posted the shameful Slain Girl photos who will be held responsible for their harassing posts since the girl was only 17. The picture has once again revealed slut shaming to be as rampant as ever. If you don't know what slut shaming is, well, one example is it's that horrible incident in high school where that jerk bragged about hooking up with that girl and the rest of the class praised him but spit on the girl. Except now we have the internet and more people to spit vitriol at these victims. Is this the latest cyberbullying attack? Is it the worst since the Steubenville rape case? I think that we probably don't want to have a hierarchy of, of what's going on here about what's worse or what's better. But it is certainly one of uh, the most clear examples of the double standard we have for men and for women when it comes to sexual activity. Yeah. And it's certainly another lesson in the fact that people are so willing to make a spectacle out of this kind of moment and so willing to take the chance that you could really be ruining someone's life by broadcasting this type of event. And as you put it, spewing this kind of vitriol in this very one-sided way that the, the guy or the guys in question are heroes, but she somehow is worthy of contempt. You know, I, I brought up this high school example, which I feel like is the most obvious and maybe also kind of shallow example of, of, of slut shaming. But I feel like that's kind of where it starts, is after puberty, there, there very quickly becomes this period of time where, where men, uh, it's, you know, men are sort of allowed to get it wherever they can get it. And for women, it's, it's a ladylike presentation. And it's this strange double standard that seems to exist not just within high school, but after high school and exists when we become adults. How do we start changing things uh, for, for young adults so that when they become adults, they don't still have this double span standard? I think the first thing we need to do is be a lot more open and honest about sex and be a lot more open and honest about people's problems with sex. When you look at these kinds of tweets, when you look at these types of events that happen, one question that everybody should be asking is, why do so many of these people hate sex? Why are they actually contemptuous of both the individuals and the activities involved? if in fact we all enjoy sex, if sex is a good and healthy thing under good circumstances. We need to stop talking about sex as something that men want and girls give them sometimes. It needs to be talked about as something that can be good and healthy and wonderful, except when it's, under, uh, when it's given under coercive circumstances, shameful circumstances, and we need to really be able to have that conversation without any sense of shame or judgment. Well, this was specifically a shameful circumstance because of the photographs that were taken and the way that they were posted online. But which is, what is more shameful about this is that the majority of the shame was cast upon um, the woman, the girl in this situation. And the man at, at this point was praised for his ability to get fellatio in public. What, like, you know, it, it blows my mind that for whatever reason, he's not shamed upon as well. Well, that's exactly right. If, if we have a problem with public sex, which, you know, this is not to say that people can't have a legitimate criticism of public sex, because in effect, you are making unwilling participants part of your sexual encounter. And we can criticize that on any number of grounds. What doesn't make any sense and what is completely illegitimate is to praise one person in the scenario and to put shame on the other. It's either a good thing or a bad thing, but we can't split it and say, he's okay for doing this, so we're not even going to talk about his role in this, but we are going to treat her as though she's done the worst thing possible. And it's not even a question of um, just pointing out that what happened might be something that people don't like. It's actually taking her to task and doing things like threatening her with further unwanted sexual contact it's things, you know, making her sound as though she's one of the worst human beings in the world for what she's done here, while he is, if, you know, anything, a, a great guy for what's happened. Mm -hmm.